She's known as one of the iconic voices within the local gospel community. Tonight, Desmond Saunders continues his series of reports highlighting the work of radio personalities here at the Broadcasting Corporation as part of Radio Bahamas' 85th anniversary. She says she was going to drive overboard. Her and her four children. She was intent on doing that. But she said something that we said to her that day. It made a change in mind. Gospel radio personality Sharice M. Ferguson reliving a riveting moment during her career. One of many experiences that has fueled her efforts to touch thousands daily. My motto here in the Inspiration Station, I live to put a smile on so many people's faces. We've had experiences where persons wanted to take their lives. We get some crazy experiences in here, like I said, and sometimes, Desmond, they're so personal and they're so private, they're so painful. I have to pause and literally ask God, Father, what do I say? How do I deal with this? And I have to be guided by his inspiration. Sister Cherie says she is affectionately known as a pioneering figure in the local gospel market, becoming the first female radio personality on the historic inspirational 1240 AM frequency 20 years ago. She credits the work of several pioneers. I stand on the shoulders of so many giants. As, as I reflect, I think about um, the late Wycliffe Miller. I think of uh, the Honorable Minister Von P. Miller, One Touch Father Hutch. Uh, there, were, there were several persons that were very intricate in my development here at the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. And uh, during my stint here, the, the experience continues to be a learning one. Um, it's colorful, it's exciting. Ferguson says a highlight of her career was meeting civil rights icon Rosa Parks. Uh, some years ago, I was chosen to give the civil rights activist Mrs. Rosa Parks an award, yeah. I've shared the stage with so many of our local artists, locally and internationally. The gospel keynotes, uh, Dorothy Norwood, um, just to name a few. Um, it's, it's just so much uh, because I've had the opportunity to go to gospel music workshops. And it was there that we were able to interact, feed off each other and get very experiences. 